hi guys so welcome back so in this video we are going to create a rest api using node.js express.js and instead of a database like mongodb or dynamodb we are going to use blockchain smart contract so basically um, the idea is <clears throat> there are some applications let's say there is a supply chain application uh, where there are many stakeholders are involved and uh, there are different products which need to be registered and tracked in a transparent way so what we can do is we can store this data either in a decentralized storage or directly in the smart contract if we use a blockchain which has low transaction cost so basically what we are going to do is we are going to store the product data um, in the smart contract and we are going to build a crude application where we are going to create the data delete the data upload and uh, sorry update and uh, to get the data so basically we are doing exactly same thing we are building a simple api uh, let's say with the mongodb now instead of mongodb we are going to store the data in the blockchain network so uh, i think it's time to start coding so uh, okay so i have this uh, uh, project open here so first of all we are going to create npm in it and it's going to create our package.json file and i'm just going to copy and paste the dependencies uh, here so we can just install npm install and uh, in the meantime we can also create an env file where we are going to put the contract address once it's done so let's wait for it i think it's almost finished yeah so now we are going to create a hard hat project npx hard hat javascript project okay and i am going to copy and paste the uh, hard hat configuration I, I do this in all my projects so you can just copy and paste this in your uh, project and it, it's going to use the volta testnet energy web chain is a public blockchain and it's going to use volta testnet so here we have a contract let's delete this let's rename this as contract api and we are going to put the functions like update set data get data and like the stuff uh, so we can do pragma solidity 0.8.0 okay contract contract api and then we are going to define our struct product it has un256 of id the product must have a name string name un256 price the price of the product and unsigned n256 quantity like what is the quantity of the product and uh, then we have an address of honor which we are going to assign it to message dot sender in the constructor and then we have this struct so we are going to uh, create uh, remove me i'm going to explain this later why i am creating this variable because uh, when we are deleting when we are going to delete uh, the product then we need this variable as a swap variable we are going to assign the delete as this and then we are going to use this to delete something from the array then we are going to create i am going to explain this parameter later when i am going to use this in the project u in 256 and this mapping is unsigned integer and each unsigned integer is going to store uh, a struct products 
and then we have a product uh, the struct array public its product array and we are going to store all the uh, products information here then we have a constructor and we are going to say owner is equals to message dot sender now we are going to create a modifier only owner this modifier is going to put a requirement that the function must only be called by owner of the contract okay so we have created owner so let's let's start writing the product so sorry uh, set product function the function set product and it's going to take u int 256 underscore id string memory underscore name unsigned int 256 uh, price and unsigned int 256 underscore quantity and this is going to be a public only owner so that only owner can set the pro product and what we can do is we can say product we we are going to uh, create a memory variable product is equals to product we are going to create a new struct and we are going to say id name price and quantity and then we are going to assign this to products of id since we created a mapping here you see u in 256 and it's going to store a struct each unsigned integer so here the we are taking id as an unsigned integer and we are going to say it's a product because product is a struct and at the same time we are going to say product array dot push and we are going to copy and paste the same thing because we need array too because when we are going to get all the products we need this array this array sorry and because we are going to return this array and it has all this information of all the products so we are going to use it then we have a function of set no get product and we are going to get the product by using just the id because we are storing it it's also public view returns it's going to return three variable string memory unsigned 256 and unsigned 256 i'm going to explain this now first of all we need to check products of sorry underscore id dot id so this this product and each product has four uh, parameters this id name price and quantity so we are going to see if this dot id because it has id name price and quantity so we are going to check if this dot id is not equal to zero sorry we need this like it must not be equal to zero if it's equal to zero then product is not available available then we are going to define product memory product is equals to products of underscore id we are going to assign this struct as products of id and then we are going to return three things first of all it's string memory it means name so product dot name product dot price and product dot quantity because we already have the id so we are going to return these three things 
and then we have a function get all products and it's going to be public view returns and it's going to return an array of structs so product is a struct and this is the array and we are going to write it as a memory and then we can just say return product array so we have this function of get all products and now we are going to write our function update product so in update product we will have the same thing oh my bad i have written and here so i i hope we don't have any error do we have it well we will see later u n 256 underscore quantity function update product and it will be uh, public and only owner only owner can update the product and it's going to be first of all it must have the same thing the product must not be equal to zero and uh, what we can do now is we can do the same thing we can take this uh, like the product we want to update we are going to take its id and then we are going to put this information this new information which we got like id name price and quantity we are going to update it and then product array dot push we are going to put a new product in this array but like wait if we are updating this then the previous push here like the product which was uh, like its version one earlier let's say the name was speaker and now the name is changed to headphones so it's already in this array like it's available in this array so what we can do we can uh, actually uh, create a function to delete and then we can create a function delete product unsigned int 256 underscore id and it's also public only owner like only owner can run it and then we are going to do this here so we are going to write this delete product here and then we are so basically see if you want to update the product you have to delete the product from the array and then from the product here too and then you can add a new product you can update it in this manner like first you delete it from the struct and you are going to delete it from the array and then you are going to update this function here so let's write this delete function so first of all it's same the id must not be equal to zero and uh, in order to delete a struct you just write products underscore id so like you just have to literally you just have to do this and it's going to delete the struct with the id this and now like it will be deleted like this thing this will be deleted here and then you can create a new one and now we need to do this with the array too so now in order to delete this from the array we can uh, create a for loop where we are first going to see what is the index of that specific id product array dot length because we are going to look through every element in the array and then we are going to grab the id the index where the id is written and then we can do like like this if 
product array of i dot id is equals to is equals to underscore id we are going to check because we are looping through every single product in this array and we don't know the index for this id which we are going to delete so we are going to check if it's the same id then we are going to say remove me is equals to product array of i you remember we created remove me here because we are going to create a struct and first of all we are going to assign this because we are going to delete this so we are going to assign it to uh, let's say a random variable of struct and then we are going to say product array of i is equals to product array of product array dot length minus one so we are going to assign this which we are going to delete to the last element of the array because we are going to pop it and then product array of product array dot length minus one is equals to remove me so what we are doing here first of all we are going to assign we are going to check if we got the index then we we are going to store this struct in this random like a, a redundant variable and then we are going to assign uh, this this i to the last element of the array and then we are going to assign the last element of array as remove me so basically and now this index it is already at the end of the list at the end of the array so what we can do is after the for loop we can say product array dot pop so it's going to just pop out so our contract is almost complete so that's there are four uh, functions like set product get product get all products update and delete and now we are going to write the api in index.js file like our node.js express server and it's going to we are going to then run it and then we can see how we can update delete and like uh, we can do everything so let's npx hard hat run dash dash network volta scripts slash deploy dot js okay so we must we need to define this deploy dot js so what we can do is just remove everything from here like the same old thing and remove the constructor here like contract address is equals this and we can contract api contract api contract api underscore contract api contract api underscore and then contract api underscore so let's try to run hope it works i think it it's working yeah so we have this contract address we are going to copy and paste it here so you can consider we have just set up our database like we have uploaded the smart contract and all this product information will be stored in this smart contract and then we are how we are going to interact with this smart contract using etherjs library and we are going to create a file index.js so first of all we are going to define const ethers is equals to require ethers require dot env dot config okay it's a function 
we are going to define const api url equal to process dot env dot api url const private key is equals to process dot env dot these are the same old things i have done in my other project so like you just have to do this in order to initiate the instance of smart contract so you just like have to do this all the time contract address and then we are going to define a provider new ethers dot providers dot json rpc provider and we are going to provide the api url if you are going to connect the metamask you are going to use web3 provider which is going to detect metamask in the browser const not singer signer is equals to new ethers dot wallet and we are going to give private key and provider and then we are going to say abi is equals to require dot slash artifacts slash contracts slash oh, slash contract api dot json we are going to grab the api from here and then we are going to create the contract instance is equals to new ethers dot contract contract address abi and not singer it's signer i don't know why i keep writing singer and then we are going to initiate the express application and then we have app of express and then we are going to use express dot json middleware and now we are going to define our first api root and we can define it as products slash id we are going to get the product with id so we can say async request response and it's going to be a function and we can say like try we can say const so when we are going to send this url with the product and let's say we are going to say http localhost 3000 slash products slash one let's say if the id is one then it's going to take the request dot params dot id so it's going to uh, because we are sending the parameter one so it as id so it's going to take the id as one and then we are going to say const product is equals to await contract instance dot get product of id so if you go to this project and if you go to get product we have this id and it returns three things like name price and quantity so what we can do we can just like say res dot send we are going to say a json response oh my god of product okay we are going to say and let's say catch we are going to catch error and then we rest dot status 500 dot send error dot message like what is the message of this error and it's now this is simple like uh, like when we are going to get one 
like one product if we want to get all the products so instead of this colon id we are just going to say products and it's going to grab all the products for us so we can say instead of this we can say const products is equals to which function is going to get us all the this get all products so we are just going to do this get all products and once we have this product product we can just like const products we are just going to send all the products and then if there is an error message we can send this as an error message and uh, okay so i think this is also done what if we want uh, app dot post so what if we want to write something in the blockchain like write a resource in the api in the smart contract so we can define the same products products but it's a post request so async request response and it's going to be a same function so we are going to say try catch error and then we are going to say the same thing here but in the try first of all since we are going to put a post request then we are going to uh, send the parameters like what are the parameters id name price and quantity of the product so we can define them as id name price and quantity and we are going to say is request dot body because we are going to append these parameters in the post request and we are going to see when we will be using postman so and once we have all these parameters we can just send this transaction to the blockchain network and how we are going to do this set product and we are going to id name price and quantity so if you go here here set product id name price and quantity so it's going to write it so okay so we have done this here uh, and then we need to tx dot wait transaction dot wait and rest dot json we are going to send success true we, we will say okay uh, like uh, everything is done so now like it's stored hmm so uh, we have created like get one product get all the products write the product now we are going to write update the product so when you are going to update the product you need to use app dot put not post and we are going to do the same thing product slash id because when you are going to upload sorry update the product you need id name price and quantity right so what we are going to do here is um, okay so we are going to put it in the url like this we want to we want to update let's say this one so what we can do is async request response and we can do the same thing here oh come on man let's go here oh no okay and we okay for the id we are going to grab the id like this because we are going to put the id in the url in the url and instead of id we are going to say uh, name price and quantity and these parameters we are going to send it to request dot body i think we made a mistake here so yeah it's quantity 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 and did we do some mistake above no i think it's all fine so we have this 
we also have the quantity here okay and instead of set product we are going to use update product so because if you if you go here the the function is update product and we just go back to and then we will wait transaction dot wait and rest dot json success okay and then if there is an error we are going to catch it let's put semicolon here semicolon i like to put the semicolons and finally we have app dot delete slash products slash id we are going to tell this is the id we want to delete and async async request response and then we are going to copy the same thing okay and the id will be same and if you go and see delete product we just need id so instead of these things let's just say uh, not update it's delete product and we just gonna pass id and then we are going to say transaction dot wait and rest dot json success and if there is an error then it's going to tell us then we can say con port is equals to 3000 we are going to run this on and then we can say app dot listen port console dot log api no api server is listening on port 3000 so we have created a server here we have initiated blockchain then we have created app dot get two times because we want to get one product and many products and then app dot post products app dot put update the product and app dot delete delete the product so let's um, go and node index dot js okay and we are going to use postman here and what is the url of http localhost 3000 and then products so we are going to say body raw and we are going to say json and let's try to post something let's say id name oh no come on id name um, price and quantity okay so what is the let's say id is one the name is name of the product is mouse the price of the mouse is five dollars and quantity is there are let's say 100 mouse and let's like send post request to products uh why we are not able to post this okay let's just copy this body raw json ah come on why you are not allowing me to post let's close this postman and try to run again come on postman
here create a basic body raw json post request can't be sent in the public though we are working on that create a fork oh man come on let's just wait how we can send a request i will search it don't save I don't know why it's not working I think it works now there was a problem with my account sorry for that Pro products I just hate it when there are bugs and I cannot find them the body raw JSON and let's put the body and let's try to send a post request send I hope we don't get any errors okay success perfect <laughs> so let's get and yeah okay so you see we have a problem here because in the blockchain the data is stored as big number in the hex format and its mouse big number so let's just um, go back and change our uh, like get functions okay so here we are okay so we are going to change here so basically if you go to here and if you are getting one product it's returning three things like name price and quantity so we can just define let prod we are going to define an array and then we can say prod of zero is equals to product of zero because the name if you see here the name is here like mouse it's the string but the problem is with the unsigned integer 256 because it's stored as hex so we can say prod of one and prod of two and we can use parse int function and then we can do the same thing here parse int and then we can uh, res dot send instead of product we can send prod and 
exactly same here so we can say uh, it's all products and we can say const products is equals to all products dot map we are going to uh, iterate through each element product and it's going to be an arrow function no yeah so it's going to be an arrow function and we can we are going to say because it's a uh, json struct so we are going to say percent product dot id because we are sending product here and name can be written as product dot name price can be written as parse end product dot price and quantity can be written as percent product dot quantity and once it's done we can see console dot log products and then we can say json dot log products okay so let's start our server again since the data is persisted on blockchain so let's try and send this again ah so now you see we have this id we have this mouse 5 and 100 so let's try to post another request and instead of mouse we can say keyboard the price is ten dollars and we have just like 50 keyboards in our stock and we can send this post request success and let's say there is a three and we can say we have speakers they are like a bit expensive like 100 and we have just 10 speakers we can send this so if you get all the products okay so in the first we added mouse then keyboard and then speakers and let's say we want to select id3 oh we get speakers oh it's giving null why it's giving null we have to see uh, yeah product dot ah uh, it's one and two uh, i'm so sorry so let's run this again let's go to postman send again oh now it's 100 let's try two okay and let's update update two no let's update three we have speakers and the price is 100 so if we just go back and see our update function this put function we need to give id and in the body we need to give three parameters right name price and quantity so id will be given here and three parameters will be given there so we can just go to postman and when we are going to say put we are going to remove id and let's say the price is now 90 and let's say we have like 20 items because the items increase so the price decrease basic demand supply and yeah so let's try to update it i hope it works we don't have any other error i hope success true let's get back all the let's get back the id3 okay 
so we have speakers the price is 90 and it's 20 so yeah we succeeded and then like simply delete so in order to delete the product you need the body no you just need this id and why we just need this id because we can just go here uh, the delete and we don't need to attach any body we can just do this with id so we can just try and do this delete product 3 true let's try to get product 3 we get an error let's try to get product 2 yeah we got it and let's try to get all the products so you see the product is deleted so uh, in this code we have seen how we can create an api using solidity uh, as a storage layer instead of like mongodb or dynamodb and then we can store all the product information and how we can create the api in node.js to communicate with the smart contract and how we can update delete and like add or uh, we can uh, do this with the products so that's all for this video so thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video take care bye bye